Hey, so I think the true value of AI and specifically large language models comes from the ability to use your personal or organizational data, right? I mean, that's why we've seen techniques such as RAG or retrieval augmented generation become so popular recently. And these models are great at working with text and markdown, but a lot of useful information is trapped into formats like PDFs or proprietary formats like DocX, which have a complex structure, there's nested elements, there's no standardized layout and have different formatting and table structures. And so needless to say, it's not easy to work with these types of documents in an AI workflow. But that's where Docling comes in. It's an open source project from IBM Research, and it can parse popular document formats and export them into Markdown and JSON with context-aware techniques to preserve the original document's integrity. So what we're going to do today is check out the project. We're going to convert over some PDFs into pure Markdown and integrate it into our AI workflow with Llama Index for a question and answering based application on our own unique data. So let's get started. So welcome to the Docling repository here on GitHub where we can learn more about the toolkit. I'll also point you to the documentation, examples, and integrations page here on the repository. Uh, but let's learn a little bit more about the project. For example, the ability uh, to read different types of formats and convert those into Markdown and JSON to be embedded, for example, into RAG frameworks, um, but also to uh, scan PDFs and, and be able to convert that and also use not only a CLI, uh, but this library in our Python applications. So there's a lot of capabilities here, and it stems from this research paper that we'll take a look at here. So what I want to note is that Docling essentially comes from the need to have a way to be able to parse these different types of document formats. And it's always been difficulty due to variability in formats and this weak standardization. But now with LLMs, we want to be able to pull this information and be able to use it in our AI applications. And typically this has been tough because of licensing or paying for large language model inferencing to run and parse these types of data. Uh, but now we have this open source tool with Docling, which is state of the art. Um, and we can take a look at how this works in this kind of architecture diagram here, where let's say we're parsing a PDF and images. What happens is we're using a little bit of OCR, object recognition magic, uh, to do some layout analysis. So let's say there's a graph and it spans from page one to page two. Well, we want to be able to preserve the integrity of that table structure, for example, and then assemble that document into this standardized Docling format, which we can uh, use in order to export into JSON or Markdown, uh, or also use in a chunking situation with a vector database to be able to run question and answer on our documents. So not only PDF, but different types of these formats of DocX and PowerPoint and Excel. Uh, and this is how this pipeline works in order to parse these types of documents. Um, so this is all done with Docling. Now, what I also want to show you, in addition to the architecture and, and a little bit about the models that it uses in order to do this type of recognition, is also the performance here. So. What the Docling team did is actually took together a couple different open source projects and ran them on two different types of systems. So we have an x86 architecture with L4 GPUs, but also a MacBook Pro with ARM architecture. And what they did is essentially processed a large amount of pages on Docling, Marker, Minor U, and Unstructured. These are popular open source projects for doing this type of data parsing. Uh, and what they saw uh, when they did this comparison and benchmarking on the same exact system is that lower is better. And so you can see in this graph that Docling was leading with 3.1 seconds per page on an x86 and 1.2 seconds on an M3, followed closely by Minor U. Uh, but it's important to note that Minor U wasn't able to finish any runs on an M3 Max on ARM architecture. After minor U was unstructured, and then finally marker, which took about 16 seconds per page on an x86 CPU. So it's just a little bit important to understand how these different tools are parsing uh, these types of documents. And there's a lot more information that you should definitely take a look at in this Docling technical report. But let's go ahead and install the Docling CLI and start converting some documents. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Docling. So I'm gonna go copy this command and just hop into the terminal. It's a quick pip install. And as you can see, I've already installed the, the dependency and the library here on my system. Um, but I also wanna show you some of the more uh, detailed information for the CLI. 
so you've got all of these different options in order to uh, format the documents from uh, a folder, for example, or from the web and to export them somewhere to use OCR. Uh, and you have different choices for easy OCR or Tesseract um, or maybe not use OCR at all. And so let's go back to the usage page. And here's the example of a simple command that we're going to run. I'll hop back here and let's do the Docling uh, conversion and also specify, uh, let's say our desktop. Yeah. So we'll run this command. And as we talked about before in the research paper, it's gonna take a few seconds per page in order to convert it. But what is actually in this page? So this is a PDF. Uh, and so this is a academic paper, just like the one we saw earlier. Uh, but you're noticing that there's different types of headings and subheadings. Um, and uh, this will all be formatted into Markdown. Um, and I'm curious to see how it's going to look, right? Because we have so much information here on this page that traditionally it's very hard for um, an AI model to be able to parse this and to associate all the relationships between text here and be aware of the context uh, in that sense. So I also want to take a look at here how it's going to format the images and also what's really interesting is going to be how it takes this um, table here uh, and actually formats that as well. So let's go ahead head uh, back over to the terminal. Looks like it's finished uh, doing that conversion. And on our desktop, we've got this 1.5 megabyte markdown file. I'll make this a little bit bigger and we can see it's already started to format the headers, some of the subtext that we just saw on that page on that PDF. Uh, and it looks pretty nice. So um, all of this has been nicely formatted. Uh, links, we've got examples of the figures being converted into base 64. Um, so the image is there and I'll go ahead and scroll past that because that's a lot of text, um, conversions with some of the font, uh, keywords. Let's see. I'm also curious. Oh, there's that table. So it looks like it's done a pretty good job here actually of, uh, of converting it into a AI readable format, right? But let's say that we want to integrate this into our application. Well, we can actually use Docklings document converter, uh, for example, in this notebook that we've created. So I'll go ahead and just run this. Uh, and the source that we're using here is just the PDF of the technical report that we saw earlier. Uh, we're using the converter and then just converting this straight into Markdown, which is now going to be this full docling technical report that we saw earlier. Uh, and just like that, it's simple to use it via in the command line or also in our applications as well. But let's dive a little bit deeper. Okay, so now I wanna show you a really fun part of using Docling for reading and parsing those documents, as well as Llama Index to be able to retrieve and generate answers that are really efficient and useful based on that unique data that we're providing. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we're installing all of these necessary packages uh, in order to uh, work with Docling and Llama Index and to parse these documents. Then we're going to import some necessary modules. Uh, and this code is actually from Docklings documentation itself. There's code like this for Langchain as well. Um, but the main part and functionality is right here where we're defining some of the main parameters. So we're importing a Hugging Face token uh, and we're working with two different models. So an embedding model in order to uh, convert uh, some of the uh, document into nodes and actually use this for response generation from our vector database and also a regular Gen AI model in order to provide a uh, natural language response. So let's go ahead and move on into the RAG pipeline. So what we're doing is importing some of these core Llama index and Docling components like the Docling reader, among other readers that you can get within Llama index. And what we're gonna be doing is processing this document um, and extracting some of the structured text uh, and doing this into nodes. So we've got uh, a reader to convert this input document, just like what we did in the past example, and a node parser to convert it into nodes or different sections and paragraphs to be logically extracted when we ask a question, uh, as we'll do later on, which is what are the main AI models that Docling uses? So let's go ahead and take a look at the vector store, right? This is important for converting our information into vectors so we can perform a similarity search. Uh, what we're doing is essentially creating uh, an index 
So we'll be able to kind of sort and process through the document from the source here, which as we have here is this, uh, let's see what it is, drum roll, uh, Dockling Technical Report again. And then we're going to convert this into nodes uh, and transform this uh, so that then we can embed them uh, and save them into this vector database here. Uh, and so the result is going to be, oh, and I should have cleared this right here. Um, but I'll, I'll run all of this again, and we'll be able to see what the output is going to be. So I'll clear the output there, and we're going to ask the question again. But what should happen is we're going to ask the question, hey, what are the main AI models? And based on the similarity uh, of these nodes to the original question, based on the embedding document that we used, uh, which is this small model here, we pull that information back and generate a response with the open source Mistral model. And just like that, we have the answer, which is uh, it's powered by two different models, DocLayNet and TableFormer. And the sources are provided here, uh, which is the ecosystem part of the paper that we saw earlier. So this is just a really cool example of how you can use DocLing in a RAG pipeline, for example, with Llama Index, or for example, with LangChain or extract this information and actually start to fine tune models as well. Uh, but let's head back over to the repository and we can close out. So I definitely see a lot of potential in this project. Personally, I've been using it in order to convert PDFs into Markdown, to use it with another open source project called Instruct Lab, which does fine tuning of models. And then at that point with the fine tune model, adding RAG on top to pull those dynamic data sources. So I think not only with RAG, but also for fine tuning and just generally being able to work with your data in an AI workflow. Dockling is really impressive with its performance and benchmarks. And I highly recommend that you try it out um, and search it on uh, Google and GitHub and see the paper and, and get it working on your device. And let me know what you think about Dockling below in the comments or any other future videos you'd like to see. As always, my name is Cedric. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.